Alright, hello and welcome to another Marvel Snap deck highlight. Patch day was today, uh, and with it brought some interesting changes. The most notable, I think, is Zabu is now an on reveal. So, we love that. We love Zabu being bad. Um, the most notable of buffs would be... I don't know, are there any direct buffs? I guess Strong Guy. Strong Guy now works with nice. one card in hand. Um, but otherwise, it's weird reworks. I would call the Sandman change that we're looking at today a buff. He's now a 5-7 with an on reveal of next turn. Players can only play one card, uh, which makes him a good just generic tech card, which I think makes him extremely strong. Because you don't have to play him in Sandman now. You can play, or you don't have to play him in Electro, sorry. You can play him in any deck you want. And he will be very good. Um, I shouldn't have snapped. He's gonna leave. Yeah, but here we are. Um, if he stays, I'll be shocked. Uh, but yeah, I've been messing around with this deck pretty much all day. Um, well, I guess there's no point in sand manning. You can already only play one card. <laughs> it only hurts you at this point. I mean... But I don't... But... And then I'll probably just move Jeff into Savage Lands and then Red Hulk middle. Checks out. Is that Galactus? Kneel before Doctor Doom. Deal before Doctor Doom. A classic. <laughs> he has priority. Alive me. Alive got changed too. He's a six eight now and he only removes text. He doesn't destroy anymore. Okay, so here's a question. Removes text. Yep. No. Nope. Would that nope. have set red nope. no because he's already Cool. Uh because when you remove the text off of normal Hulk, he doesn't lose his power either. Like Kaivo Hulk. Cool. He doesn't lose power. <laughs> like when you used to be able to old leech him. Yeah. Congrats. You got my red Hulk. <laughs> I almost won. <laughs> I almost won middle. <laughs> even though he <laughs> took my red Hulk. <laughs> That's funny. Love to see it, really. I've been seeing a decent amount more leader recently. I think people are running Electro more thinking, I, I feel like these are like Sandman players not realizing that you don't run Electro with Sandman anymore. Like he's just a good tech card. <laughs> like I think he's a he very he's strong card. Like I think this is kind of how they wanted him. He's more of a a card that shuts down like high tempo decks like um, the Elsa Movers deck that's going around right now. They want to play Kitty Pride and Red Hulk on the final turn. So this shuts them down a lot because they're like 20 power kitty pride that they have. They can't play anymore or they can't play their Red Hulk, which means that you can get wide and win the game. And that's kind of what this deck is set up to try and do. Also, we are top 10K gamers right now. Probably should have checked to see if he was anything. Like he wasn't. Good, yeah. Look at that. All right, hopping into game two. But yeah, it actually like took a while to figure out this deck. I had, because I was like, oh, I'll just do like a generic lockdown deck because that'd be funny. I had Professor X in it. Did not feel very good. Dude, fuck this location. I hate so much Castle fun. Zemo. Dude, no one plays it. Just no one <laughs> fucking plays into Castle Zemo. It's literally... That's not true. Dude. I don't put in there all the time. Like, no one plays cards into Castle Zemo in my games. It's everyone just being like, yeah, that's a fucking location there, and then no one plays into it. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna play Ms. Marvel, Claw, Red Hulk into Baxter Building, and that's fine. Like, eventually they have to play a card in a Zemo. I don't fucking have to play a card in Castle Zemo. I could storm it. Not gonna. Could. Could be funny, though. This deck probably doesn't run Killmonger. 
theirs doesn't look like it does. Because this is this is actually the exact deck I was talking about with uh, Sandman. Do I Doom? Is Doom better? Because they still haven't played in. If they don't play in Azima this turn, Doom's better, right? Yeah. If I wasn't recording, I probably would have snapped. Uh, probably when I played Captain Marvel. I've been thinking about it for a while since like they haven't played in Azima. They're probably gonna give me like a Nightcrawler if they even give me something. And they haven't popped Vormir either, right? Okay, no, not no, they have not. Yeah, this is what I mean though. People never play into these locations. Congrats, you have vision. <laughs> I read Hulk. Um. No, no, wait, wait. No, I Doctor Doom. I Doctor, yeah. I, I I forgot about Captain Marvel. The so I I was looking at Red Hulk because if they vision middle, they're at twelve, we're only at eleven. But uh, I forgot about Captain Marvel. If they have Enchantress, we're fucked. And I have seen this deck run Enchantress before. <laughs> Four. The freaking kitty pride. God, we are gamers. We're fucking <laughs> gamers. <laughs> I mean, we would have won if we played um, uh, Red Hulk. Yeah. Would we have? Uh. Yeah, we would have. We would have because you would have gone a one breaker. Middle. Yep. Yeah, so we've been fine. We would have just won. We wouldn't. It wouldn't even been breaker. We would have had more power here and here. We would have lost form here though. Yeah. We would have won. I mean, too, but so. also the fact that I'm able to beat this deck, but like this is kind of the deck that you're supposed to be able to beat. Is this like super up tempo deck, right? They played four cards on the, or they played three cards on the final turn, where we played one, right? Like, if we were in a position where we could have Sandman or had Sandman, like. What are they going to do where when we Doctor Doom? Because they don't carry they typically do not carry Doctor Doom. Here we go. Also, remember, if you guys are enjoying, please uh subscribe for future deck highlights. It means a lot. Fuck you, Icebox. Boom uh, roasted. We are slowly on the way to a thousand, so every little bit helps. Uh what? Three bro three? That's where my brain goes. Ooh, I can play Lizard Middle. <laughs> you, you absolutely could. <laughs> not, it's not, it's not three bro three. This is, this is not three bro three. Ooh, I like that. I like, I like this a lot. <laughs> I like more. Ooh, ooh. No, that's good. That that's gets actually, doubled. That's actually good. Well, my lizard gets doubled too. Your your he could be negative. One hundred percent correct. Your lizard does get doubled. Hey, one hundred else gets doubled. If I pull Miss Marvel, she also gets doubled. <laughs> that would actually be so crazy if we pull Miss Marvel. We're actually like in an insane spot because <laughs> then we could claw on five Miss Marvel lizard on six. You they fasted and then uh, top decked hood. <laughs> top. You also have a Jeff too that you can yeah. move over if need be. That's a pretty good guard to pull. That's honestly. tough. <laughs> How committed are they to Morag? It's a question you gotta ask yourself, huh? So they're gonna. <laughs> Play out their demon and bast, and if they and have, they have beast, put the again. beast. Well, they they want to keep hood in hand so that way it gets. Bast. Right, so bast gets, yeah. Oh, they kept the demon in hand. That drops the. Yep, the, the demon three, three now. Power. Yeah, okay. it was a choice they made. Okay. 
god, imagine if Icebox didn't have Sandman, by the way. Like, this deck gets absolutely fucking <clears throat> rolled by Sandman. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish I had a Sandman buried. Get on that. Is that a middle beast? No. Um. <laughs> well, um, I mean, <laughs> twist my arm. If, if I must, you know. <laughs> God damn. Jeez. What is that? So we have 13 right, and then it's 16, and then 26. And we win, right? Like, unless they have Enchantress or Rogue, we win. But I don't think either of these decks carry those things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we run this town. God damn. What can I say? The deck's amazing. Has nothing to do with the insane location blessing that we're getting, all right? You can only say we got so much location blessing when our Sandman also got hit with Icebox this game. You know, it's like you, give some, you win some, you lose some. We just win all the games, which is what matters. Like, the, the big flaw is, like, I don't know if Gladiator is, like, the card for this deck. I just wanted, like, a big, low-cost card. <laughs> that's why Lizard's uh, I mean, in here. That is probably one of the biggest low-cost cards. Well, that's why Lizard's here, is because I didn't really want it to be Star-Lord, and I didn't want it to be Silk, because I didn't want it to move around. Yeah, because that screws with your, uh, Miss Marvel. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Silk Shrews. It's the right. Silk, yeah. Yeah, so my best option was Lizard. And I didn't really want to deal with, like, tempoing Max properly when I'm running Sandman. Like, I figured giving them two cards was not worth it. Fair. Well, fuck. Um... either move or phoenix force I'm looking at starlight citadel it's phoenix force wind aid my hand we have priority that's pretty cool well, it's really good because if they Phoenix Force this turn, we're going to kill a card. Hmm. If, and if we pull Carnage, then we're going to kill, like, if we can pull Carnage or Venom, we need to kill two cards. So. Someone doesn't know how Starlight Citadel works. That's awkward. <laughs> oh, no, they do know how Starlight Citadel works. They deliberately did that so they have uh they have um what's it called nimrod um okay so they nimrod here venom here we lose here that's 17 that's 15. Man, Sandman works so well with Red Hulk because we're going to force them to miss energy next turn, most likely. Um... Yeah, I mean, we're just, like, fucked if they have Venom, right? Um... Oh! Wait, what? I totally forgot! It's it's set to the location! Shuri, uh, Shuri's location uh, Oh... Wait, we could just do this. This just wins. Wait. Right? 
Doom just wins. It wins flooded. Wins flooded, ties here. We go up 15 here. Yeah. Are you fucking shitting me? I win last round. Okay. Holy shit. That, <laughs> that, that would have tilted the fuck out of me. Victory. Oh my god, Dreadhulk wouldn't have won. Yeah, I would have been real pissed if we didn't win because of that. Holy. Claw would have won, though. Yeah. I would have to check, but Hopping I don't do so. The next one. Bummer. Guys, yeah. a lot of my cards are very low series cards. Uh, Red Hulk, Jeff, and Miss Marvel are all series five. Uh, a lizard here. Lizard Storm, Captain Marvel. Yeah, that looks fine. We're just gonna like pump up storm, pump up flooded, because we can move out of it later. Makes sense. Uh, we probably claw titan. Probably. Wind, aid my hand. Red Hulk. I mean. I don't think that affects me at all. <laughs> oh wait, does this ability not work? Guess we'll find out. Yeah, right, the, the play is Claw here, Jeff, Miss Marvel, and then move whatever we don't need out of flooding. Okay, Doesn't makes sense. Right? Like, I don't even think we play Red Hulk, Doom. Like, I don't think we play any card we pull. Like, I think this is just, like, the most optimal hand we have. Hey, Triple M. Zabu's dead, my guy. Uh, 7 plus 5 is 12, so you go up 1 left. Wow, you can do math. I know. <laughs> They have Killmonger? Oh, it's a surfer! Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't move any card. Because my Nebula is just gonna die. Or do I move Nebula middle in the like chance that she lives? Because we don't need her, right? And the power middle would okay, be nice. Okay, so what did he? What does he do into flooded? He can't win flooded. Okay. But my I lizard's would... gonna be dead. My lizard doesn't have power. No, no, no. You, you, you don't move your lizard. I, but Marvel's your lizard, I would say, Titan. is the only card you leave there. Well, yeah, I guess you leave Captain Marvel there, too. I don't right? know. Right, but if you leave lizard... I don't know. I, I'm Captain assuming this Marvel. is Surfer. I could be wrong, I guess. I mean... They could have there's rogue. a lot of threes and a... Uh, there's a Killmonger. Yeah. I don't even know if we can win. We tie left. We go up and how? Yeah, that works too. Beautiful. <laughs> Miss Captain Marvel seeing the vision. I wasn't. Even, I was so focused on left. Um. So it, it didn't matter that we moved Storm because we would have won Breaker. Yeah. Because we would have gone up seven, right? But you were right. You're right. I, I was very focused on. I wanted to keep the Miss Marvel buff active. But I didn't need the Miss Marvel buff to win the game. That's why I was leaving multiple cards in flooded. Yeah. 
Makes sense. I'm honestly impressed with myself that I was able to move Nebula out of Flooded. <laughs> Alright, folks. This is the one. This is where we prove the strength of the deck. Um... Okay, so honestly, this is kind of an awkward position. <sighs> I don't want to goose Grand Central because they could cheat a card under our goose. I mean, with that okay. statement, we could cheat a card under our goose. But, and then I don't want it middle because then I can't play my Miss Marvel middle. That would be the main one, I think, yeah. Well, and then I don't... Like, having Goose into my Nebula doesn't fucking do anything. They're going to play cheap cards into my Nebula anyway. Yeah. It's like the Goose isn't really doing anything. Three bro, three. Love to see it. Yeah. yeah I don't really think it matters where I play Jeff. He's probably <laughs> getting moved to Kunlun anyway. I think Captain Marvel left. Okay, it's either Cerebro 3 or it's like a Loki deck, right? Like. Uh, man, is Claw or Sandman better? Hard to say. Kinda. Huh. He hasn't shown anything that would suggest that he can move cards yet. It has to be Cerebro 3. It has to be. It has to be Cerebro 3. Which means that this is the winning play. Yeah, because then he's just playing Cerebro. Rather than Cerebro and Mystique. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine with me. I don't, I don't fucking care about that. <laughs> Hold on. So we go up to five, right? Who has priority? They have priority. The fuck? How do they get more power? Right? They, they played Cerebro last, so they could Mystique. Yeah. And that adds four power here. They go up to 15. We're at 19. How do they win? Mystique. Jeff. We still beat Jeff. <laughs> Might I emphasize, this deck is fucking amazing. <laughs> Love to see it. I'm unparalleled. I'm living on a high. I'm the best Marvel Snap player to ever grace this game. <laughs> Holy That's hell. That's a hot take. <laughs> I'm at least a top 8,000 player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, based on the... <laughs> If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, let me know, and subscribe for future deck highlights. And anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.